Hello friends, here we got another problem of finding derivative using the product rule. Initially you need to insert in your brain, you are not going to use in any other rule. You might be thinking, oh this is a plus b, a minus b, so it will be a square minus b square, right? And a square is a constant quantity, and then root over x square that will be x, and simply you're gonna get the answer as a 1, right? Sorry, minus 1 you'll get the answer. So, sorry bro, you can't use like this, alright? Uh, because question is saying product rule that will be more easier by the way but again anyhow we need to use this product rule okay so let's let's do it so again what I'm gonna do I'm first going to write my function here my function is a plus root x times a minus root x right now see uh, as our rule I'm just going to s suppose this is my first function u and this is my f second function v so now derivative of this will be like uh, if I if I have to use the uh, like product rule, so first I'm going to write the product rule here, right? And my product rule is like if two functions are in the product form, right? Then the derivative of that thing will be actually you need to first write second function and then derivative of the second function with respect to x or something whatever with with respect to anything you are doing, right? And then plus second function times derivative of the first function. That's simple, all right? So same thing we're going to use here. So now my y. I'm going to differentiate this 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 uh, uh, this uh, you can say a function with respect to x both side left hand side as well as right hand side so dy over the dx will be our first function I'm going to write this thing first right okay so let's write here a plus root x times derivative of these things all right so d over dx of a minus root x and again we are finished with this first part now let's talk about this part okay so first what I have to do now I have to write second function this part I need to write okay so it is a minus root x times now I write here second function and now I need to find out the derivative of the first function and my first function is actually a plus root x a plus root over x alright and now here we're going to get like as it is I'm going to write here so it is a plus root x times now derivative of the constant term that is zero it is in the actually bracket and now derivative of the root x this root x I just wanna show you here actually you know uh, root x is x to the power 2 right oh, sorry x to the power 1 by 2 and derivative of actually x to the power 1 by 2 using the power rule actually you have done it many times before right so that's why first I need to write the power times x to the power whatever I do have minus 1 so I'm gonna get 1 by 2 times x to the power minus 1 by 2 so again 1 by 2 x to the power 1 over 2 that's gonna be actually x to the power 1 over 2 root x I'm gonna get this one alright so these things I'm going to directly use here uh, 1 by 2 root x I hope you understand it alright and again see this is a minus root x so as it is let's write it a minus root x times now derivative of the constant term that will be zero and then again plus derivative of root x is actually what yes you got it here derivative of root x is going to be 1 by 2 root x alright and now here we are going to do further a plus root x times minus 1 by 2 root x plus again here a minus root x times 1 by 2 root x alright so if we take the common this 1 over 2 root x 1 over 2 root x what we will be getting minus a minus root x because this minus is going to multiply this both thing alright and then plus a minus root x so this and this will cancel out and you will be left with 1 by 2 root x times this minus root x and minus root x this will be minus 2 root x and here we can cancel these two parts and we are left with now this minus 2 and minus 2 will also cancel out and we will be left with minus 1 and sir as I had said earlier again we got the derivative minus 1 right but uh, I solve with this lengthy uh, product rule right now right now it is lengthy but sometimes this product rule becomes very simple also because the question is saying we need to use the product rule and actually at that time actually I was saying that you can use uh, here another rule also 
like power rule you can use here if you simply uh, a little bit if you simplify this this is a plus b and a minus b right so use identity it will be a square minus root x whole square and that's going to be actually a square minus x and if you find out now derivative of a square that will be zero and uh, if you find out the derivative of x you'll get one so you're going to get derivative actually minus one right so this was very simple in this much step only you can find out the derivative just in three step if you use this uh, power rule here but the question was saying to use product rule so that's why I did this by using product rule alright I hope you understand how I use the uh, power rule also here okay if you have any problem you can comment uh, probably uh, other other visitors or if I'll get the time I'll definitely explain it alright goodbye